So here I am thinking solid state batteries, they're not far away. They're coming soon, yeah. And many people believe that's the case. Well, this expert, uh, this scientist, he's saying, no, you're wrong. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a big fan of solid state batteries. I think it's going to bring a new element of excitement to the EV industry. When I say EV industry, we're not even going to call it the EV industry. We're just going to call it the automotive industry because all cars will be electric by 2035. But right now, at this point in time, there's anticipation. Car companies, particularly Toyota, have been hyping solid state batteries since 2014. It's 11 years. And they're saying it's here. It's, it's almost here, just over and over and over. So there's a lot of excitement around this. Really, a lot of this excitement is about the fact that we can potentially triple or even quadruple energy density. And that is very real that that can happen. Solar state batteries long heralded as the ideal energy solution for the new energy era with very high energy density and super fast charging. Uh, they are going to, well, have been facing big delays in hitting mass production. Despite numerous automakers announcing ambitious production timelines as early as 2026, I mean, right now there's several electric cars from different car brands driving around being tested with solid state batteries. However, experts say these targets of 2026 are probably not going to happen. At the recent 2025 China Automotive Forum, Wang Fang, chief scientist at China Automotive Technology Research Center, identified four critical problems that solid state batteries need to still overcome. Unclear ion conduction channels, complex production processes, that's the biggest challenge, inadequate safety controls, I don't think that's a challenge, and high volume manufacturing challenges. Now I see two of these four being the two big ones. Complex production processes leading to expensive production and volume manufacturing issues. The other issue I've heard is longevity. I've heard that in testing, they don't get anywhere near as many cycles as lithium ion phosphate or even today's lithium ternary batteries. That may have been a challenge that's been overcome by some companies though. The technology then, materials and cost issues surrounding solid state batteries is going to be difficult to resolve in the short term, according to this scientist in the battery industry. These batteries, theoretically, says Car News China, offer comprehensive advantages and enormous market potential, but will consumers be able to drive them anytime soon? And here's the challenge, and what I've been saying for a very long time. By the time solid state batteries get to market, will they actually make sense? I mean, for example, if they cost double today's battery costs, that's okay if they have double the energy density. But will they have double the energy density? I mean, probably not. We've already seen this year. Uh, Mercedes' new batteries have 20% higher energy density. BMW is the sa same. There's many companies now saying the batteries that they're using in their next generation EVs have a 20% improvement in energy density. The same thing's happening for lithium-ion phosphate batteries. Lithium-ion phosphate batteries are now so cheap. Manufacturers in China are using them for almost all their cars and they are getting much better. They can charge now at speeds of up to 1,000 kilowatt. Even, even 500 kilowatt is becoming common now. Here is a chart from Car News China showing you what's happening. BYD say small batch production in 2027. Cherry say mass production in 2028, but a vehicle installation in 2026. But we already know that there's Cherry EVs driving around in China with solid state batteries in them right now. Toyota said right? They said they'd be mass producing them in 2018. Then they said 2019. Then they said 2020. They keep on changing it by a year constantly. Now they're saying 2026 mass production. Um, is that even remotely real? 2026? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I mean, 2030, maybe, maybe. GAC group, they have batch production in 2027. Apparently mass production 2026. Cadle 2027, a small batch production. Uh, CALB 2028. Uh, you've got Pengui Energy, estimated 2026, mass production. Ferasis Energy 2025, they're saying Ferasis, that would be cool. 
Saik, 2026. GAC, 2026. Talent, New Energy, 2027. Chang'an Auto, 2026. Eve Energy, 2026. Mass Production. BMW Group, Mass Production, 2030. Uh, S-Fold Energy, after 2030. Then you've got all the other battery companies in the United States, right? Uh, they are saying that they're pretty advanced as well. And they have some of their batteries in EVs already, like factorial so that they've already got batteries being tested in EVs today. Um, here's interesting, some interesting points. Wang Fang, he said that there are limitations on solid state batteries today. He said, while solid state batteries indeed have wider safety boundaries than liquid batteries, once those boundaries are breached, the consequences can be more severe than with liquid electrolyte batteries. Now, I haven't heard this before. It's kind of news to me. This statement comes at a time when EV fire incidents have heightened consumer concerns. The Chinese government is saying that um, they have a new rule on batteries being made as of next year. That means they basically can't be able to be flammable. They can't. They can't be flammable. They have to have. They have to have safety measures in place that prevent any kind of thermal runaway, which is quite restrictive. In May 2025, the China Society of Automotive Engineers released the All Solid State Battery Determined Method, which clearly defines all solid state batteries as requiring ion transfer exclusively through solid electrolytes, creating a strict technical boundary between these and hybrid solid liquid electrolyte batteries. This standard aims to prevent marketing hype around terms like all solid state or semi-solid state, which is a good point. Companies like Sate Group and Goshan High Tech, says Car News China, have made claims about their solid state batteries' safety features. These remain untested in real world conditions. Laboratory results do not necessarily translate to real world performance in mass produced vehicles. So the question is by the time these batteries are being mass produced, let's say 2028, maybe even later than that, how good will existing lithium ion phosphate batteries be? How much better now? How much will sodium batteries have improved? They're improving constantly. How much better will existing lithium batteries be, say, for example, lithium with high manganese in those batteries? There's a lot going on in, in the industry that is improving and getting better while we're still waiting for solid state. The automotive landscape has changed enormously in recent years. Hybrid vehicles, once considered merely transitional, have gained market traction. Uh, E-revs are growing in scale and we're getting new E-revs from companies like Xpeng with 500 kilowatt charging and 400 kilometers of range, potentially questioning whether or not you need to pay more for a solid state battery when that would be an option if you need a huge amount of range. So Car News China seems to agree with my, my ideas, what I've been saying for a couple of years now. Improvements in liquid lithium battery technology that already exists have addressed some previous limitations. BYD's Super E platform introduced in March 2025 features batteries that can provide 400 kilometers of range in five minutes of charging. Zika, Xpeng, Huawei, all got similar similar new technology now, e enabling charging speeds in you know between seven to 12 minutes. Uh, the amount of time that it takes you just to go and do a pee while you're waiting for your car to charge. So, so really the question is, would you want to change? I mean, solid state batteries can't actually charge as fast as what lithium ion phosphate batteries can charge today. Battery swapping technology has been improved in China. That's another option. I personally think that's not going to, not going to, not pro probably not going to actually catch on, but it is an option. And e reps, uh, you know, with huge amounts of EV only range are also an option, as I mentioned before. So the cost challenge is the big issue here. The unit cost of solid state batteries is apparently about double to triple that of existing lithium ternary batteries. Pro approximately three times the price actually. Combined with the substantial research and development expenses already incurred, early solid state battery vehicles will come with some pretty big price tags. So we could be seeing them not in hitting the market until 2030 in mainstream vehicles. According to Chinese media, 36KR, Given these technical performance, safety and cost challenges, industry observers are very skeptical about the timelines from manufacturers, particularly from Japanese ones like Nissan and Toyota, who are making some pretty wild claims, but then changing them constantly, not telling anyone they've changed them, just changing them almost every year. 
It appears as though some companies are just saying things to appease investors, and it's very difficult to find out real timelines, really when this is all happening. It feels like um, we are on the precipice, but then that precipice keeps on just moving a little bit ahead. It's almost like being in a dream state, and you've got to get somewhere, and you're trying to run, and you just you can only run in slow motion. What are your thoughts? How do you feel about this industry? Let me know in the comments, and guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.